seeing the faces of the people they get to enjoy these berries and the kale and I think about them when I'm picking. <laughs> going, oh, I hope they'll enjoy these berries. So it's typically our day starts at 3.30 and I'll probably be in at about 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight. So, so it's a long day. <laughs> We've got this uh, orange fungus that only follows after the fires happen. And it's just this artificial, like a, uh, almost like a pastel orange. And citizen science is how we collect data about the natural world so that we can have better policies around how to protect it. The unsaturated zone is located directly beneath the land surface, and the pore spaces hold both air and water. In the saturated zone, all the open spaces are filled with water. The water table is the very top of the saturated zone and the bottom of the unsaturated zone. Ultimately, the microbes in the soil are doing better because of that biodiversity and creating an environment for all beings to thrive. Thousands of years later, we're still using these processes. And I think that's when you go back to buying that bread, the loaf of bread in the store, we forgot where that came from. It's not only can agriculture reduce its emissions, but it actually uniquely can store carbon, can pull carbon out of the atmosphere and put it in soil and in plants where we need it. You'd be amazed at the, at the size of the fish that we get here. Streams are a reflection of the watershed or the landscape. So, you know, if our streams are in good condition, that's a reflection that we're, we're taking good care of our land. 80% of that is captured in the methane gas through our methane digester and methane capture. The problem has been not that the crab are not out there in the ocean, but they're contaminated, if you like, by a, by a natural toxin. It comes from this plankton called Pseudonitsia, produces domoic acid. That is something which is not very good for us to eat. There are more people on the road traveling further distances to get to the jobs that are so important, and it's resulting in a tremendous amount of congestion on the freeways. A significant development for our region, and that would be the electrification of Caltrain. This has been many long years in coming. So as you can see, down the tube, well over 150 feet, you can see crystal clear water that's naturally produced at Collector 6. The reason we call it unsustainable is that we can't keep doing this. You know, we're undermining the viability of our, our own food system.